Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily, but if you are a returning subscriber, you friend are my favorite person, you don't even know it yet. So today I want us to make a Salisbury steak. A Salisbury steak is basically patties in a mushroom sauce. I prepared it like um, I think a week or two weeks ago and when I prepared it I made a poll on Instagram because I was uh, posting it on my Instagram stories and I asked guys if they would want me to just highlight it on my Instagram or post it on my YouTube. Most of them said that they prefer I post it on my YouTube so here we are. Give the people what they want. How about that? <laughs> So guys, to prepare the patties, you need uh, minced meat. This is like 300 uh, shillings worth of minced meat. You need onions, preferably a white onion because it has more flavor. And you also need garlic. I'm going to show you the other ingredients as we move along. But for now, I'm going to chop the garlic as well as the white onions. And you can use a big onion or just make sure you have lots and lots of onions when preparing this okay I'm using four cloves of garlic you can use five or six or even three I'm just a big fan of garlic Right, so that's done and then now we can fry them so the first thing is to fry your onions so just a little bit of oil not too much once your oil is heated up you're putting your onions And then I usually add black pepper onto mine. That is optional. That's like a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. And then you don't need to overcook your onions, just saute them. As soon as I'm sure they are sauteed or uh, they are translucent, I'll show you the next step. I think I'm going to add more oil, just a little bit. So once you've sautéed your onions, you're just going to put them there. And then you're going to pick an egg, one, uh, preferably refrigerated egg. And I'm also going to pick mustard. So one refrigerated egg and mustard sauce. And then I'm going to pick breadcrumbs. You can find breadcrumbs at your favorite supermarket. So you'll also need uh, Worcestershire sauce, but I don't have Worcestershire sauce. A good substitute for Worcestershire sauce uh, is a uh, dark soy sauce. So that's what I'm using. So the first thing I'm going to do is um, put some salt to taste. Then the next thing I'm going to add is, uh, this is a Robertson stick and chops seasoning. Just a pinch is enough. Okay, so that's that. The next thing I'm going to put is the Robertson steak and chops a spice, okay, a pinch as well. And then I'm going to put uh, a Reiko cube, this is also optional. So the next thing is mustard, mustard is not optional, shake well first. And then I'm just going to put like one tablespoon of mustard sauce, okay. And then the next thing I'm going to put is like uh, three tablespoons of uh, breadcrumbs and just one egg. That's enough. And then I'm going to mix all this together and form patties. Oh wait, you're also going to need um, dark soy sauce. like uh, two tablespoons of dark soy sauce are enough so that's that 
And then I'm going to mix everything all together now. So you can uh, preferably mix using your hand. Just make sure you mix everything thoroughly. All right, guys. So I'm done mixing, and I'm going to form a uh, medium-sized patties. Preferably six of them. So let's see if I can hack that. So those are my six medium-sized patties. I'm just going to now fry them in oil for three minutes each side. So it's now time to fry the patties in the same, preferably in the same pan that you sauteed your onions. Okay, so I'm now going to, to fry this for three minutes each side. Okay guys, so here are my browned patties and here is my casserole. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a non-stick spray just to make sure my patties don't get stuck there when we'll be baking. Okay, so once you've put uh, the non-stick spray into your casserole, you can use the clear one, the clear baking tin. So do you mean it on your casserole or it on your baking tin? It's one of the two. Then you place your patties carefully, one by one. Okay. And then now we're going to place this aside and make our mushroom sauce. So in the same pan that you prepared your patties, you're going to use that same pan to make your mushroom sauce. So onions go first. You let them cook for a minute and then you add your fresh mushroom. But as for me, I have this uh, mushroom sauce. Ain't no way that I'm buying fresh mushroom when I have mushroom sauce. So I'm now putting my mushroom sauce. I got it at uh, ShopRite. And this is uh, the black pepper mushroom sauce. So that means it's infused with lots of black pepper. So if you're putting your fresh mushroom here, the trick is not to stir your mushroom until it's translucent. You can cover it, but please don't stir if you're using fresh mushroom. But as soon as it's translucent, now you can stir. But since mine is a mushroom sauce, I'm just going to stir, okay? And then once I stir, I let it cook for like a minute. All right, after a minute, you add two tablespoons of uh, all-purpose flour, okay? Just make sure it's two tablespoons. If you add, it's going to get too thick. And then you stir that as well. If you have red wine, this is when you now put your red wine. But I don't have red wine, so I'm just making my Salisbury steak with no red wine. But uh, if you have red wine, use it. If you don't, it's all good as well. You can just leave it out, okay? So you let that cook for like uh, 30 seconds and then immediately after that you add in your beef stock about two and a half cups of beef stock. But me, me, seen a beef stock. But I don't have beef stock. So if you don't have beef stock like me in your, I hope you can see that. If you don't have beef stock like me, in your two and a half cups of hot water, you put one Royco cube, which is what I've just done. And then you add a whole chili beef cube, which is that. So I'm adding that as well. And that's it, you now have a beef stock. You can use a spoon to stir that. Make sure it's well stirred. So once that is done, you now use this as your beef stock and this is hot guys, it's so hot. You, you, what was the razor? And then uh, you pour that there. Okay. And then you stir as well. Make sure you stir kabisa. Make sure you do it thoroughly so that you don't leave any particles. 
okay and then you let it cook for two minutes if it's not in your desired color like mine or if you if you'd like it more darker you can add soy sauce which is what i'm doing to mine because it's not in the desired color i want that's like a teaspoon of dark soy sauce right and then i'm going to stir that as well and then i'm just going to cover these and let it cook for like uh, five minutes in low heat guys as my mushroom sauce cooks i'm going to set that into the all round heat with the fan on which is that for 40 minutes But I'm just preheating it for about uh, 9 minutes, which is why I've put 49 in uh, maximum. My maximum is uh, 350 degrees. If your oven does not have the all-round heat with the fan on, you can use this, the up-down with the fan on or the up-down with no fan. Whichever works for your oven, okay? Alright guys, so 10 minutes are done. And this is what my pre-cooked mushroom sauce looks like okay so i'm going to add a little bit of cayenne pepper just uh, to add flavor but you don't have to it's completely optional for you okay so i'm going to stir that all together as well and then i'm going to taste which i don't like doing just to make sure my salt is perfect Okay, could use a little bit of salt, so I'm adding that. Mm. Actually, is something else. Okay, so once that is done, I'm now going to show you the next step. Okay, sweetheart. All right, guys. So the parties that we placed aside are here, and this is the mushroom sauce. If your sauce gets too thick, just add hot water before you add the sauce which is what I'm about to do into your parties, okay, like that. All right, so you're going to put your mushroom sauce in there, into your casserole. If it doesn't cover yours, if it doesn't cover your parties, don't worry. There's really no problem. And then, and then you're going to cover this with an aluminum foil like that. All right, and then you cover your, your casserole with the aluminum foil, all sides. Like that, it doesn't have to be too tight. And then you're going now to place it in the oven for 40 minutes at your highest oven temperature. If it's 300, well and good. If it's 350, well and good. All right, guys, so the 40 minutes are done. You can hear my alarm has just gone off. So I'm going to pick this. And uh, hmm. let's see how this works out. All right, guys, so that's what it looks like. There are the patties and this is the sauce. So I'm just going to pick one like that and put it here. Okay. And I didn't want a very thick sauce, but if you want a thick sauce, that means that you will need to add more flour. And then I'm going to scoop my sauce because this will get thicker as the days go by. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so now let's taste. All right, guys, so it's now time to taste. I'm going to use a knife so that I can dig in into my soft patties. So let me start with the sauce. Hi. It's perfect. Yo. Guys, this is so good. I'm so proud of myself. Like I'm very proud of myself and I'm happy with how this meal has turned out. All right, guys, so that's what my meal looks like. That's the sauce, but that's the party. All 
like this. The noise is because I'm making my accompaniment, which is going to be mashed potatoes. You can eat this with naan bread, you can eat this with rice, you can eat this with ugali. You know what? Whatever floats your boat. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye!